Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to another day of Death Stranding. I'm Mishwapas and we are here to have some fun. And our dude has fallen asleep while we were waiting. How are we all doing today? Hello Andy, sweetie, RHPS. Welcome, welcome guys. How are we doing? So let's wake him up. Come on, Sam. What you got? Let's do this. Yep. What what you said, Sam? Do we have a vehicle here? We do not. Okay. So we're gonna have to walk. Good here, that's good to hear. I'm good, that's good to hear. We got a couple of more floating bugs. He'll be coming round the mountain when he comes. Hello, Dakota. Welcome, welcome. He'll be coming round the mountain when he comes. They'll be coming round the mountain, they'll be coming round the mountain, they'll be coming round the mountains when they come. No, oh, let me guess, it's gonna be BT territory. Uh, let's prepare. Yep, BT runs. Not doing so well. We use back pain, so we've been laying on my bed most of the day. That's not good. Hello, Cypress. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Well then, take a hot shower, take some rest, and hope you'll feel better soon. How are you doing, Cyprus? Hope you're doing well. Recovery's going smooth and everything is going as it should. Why did I not take a bike or a truck? Why did we walk? I hate walking. Thousand flipping meters. How about a snowmobile? That works too. Anything is better than this. Still recovering, but better. Trying to follow the doctor's orders. Yep. You kind of have to. That's that's the the downside. It's also the good side, but also the downside. But glad to hear you're still recovering and feeling a little bit better. What? How was the mountaineer the photographer all the way up there? That doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. He'll be gliding down the mountain when he comes. He'll be gliding down the mountain when he comes. We will be gliding down the mountain, gliding down the mountain, gliding down the mountain when he comes. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, 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 no. Stop it. Apparently we ran past the scan. Trouble sitting and walking, breathing. Get my back and all because I wanted to open my back bathroom window. Delver creep back in five some new state. Yeah, but it's still annoying. I mean I've I've been dealing with my entire body since I was basically four that it's been giving me problems. It, you get used to it, but it's still annoying. Ooh, party. Okay. That's pretty. That's a pretty view. If Windows is causing you problems, maybe you should switch to Mac or Linux. Hello, drinks. And shame on you for making that terrible joke that I didn't want to make. Because <laughs> that was the first thing that I thought. <laughs> but how are you doing, drinks? Want to do stuff today, but nope, that didn't happen. Yeah, there's always tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, the day after, and so forth and so forth. Genkai is playing Hell Divers 2. Genkai, you're not allowed to play Hell Divers 2. You need to play 76. Good, that's good to hear. Stop running down the mountain. Who is it for? The engineer. We're going to the photograph, not the engineer. Playing Forbidden West now. Same engine, haven't played this yet. Um, this is a fantastic game. I, I recommend it. Uh, it's, it's a bit weird at, at certain points, but... I, I do love it and Forbidden West is on my list of I have to play it soon games but as we all know I do not like to pay full price for stuff so I haven't bought it yet because I don't want to pay full price I hate pu paying full price for anything. Doesn't matter what it is, I just don't want to pay full price. Hey, do we not have a truck there? We've got turrets there.
There's one more coming there. One over there. Oops. Yeah, we'll use the bottle again. Of a bugger. We don't want normal assault rifles because they do not help us. Because we cannot kill people. All right, well, I mean, we can kill people, we just don't want to. We do not want to cause a void out. Let's just jump in the car and let's drive off. Come on. Bye, Felicia. There we go. All the excitement done. Come on, hurry up charging. Go, 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 go. Are you charged? You're charged. Okay. And we're driving straight into the room. Engineer, metal resin distribution center. So much stuff that we are leaving the ground. Ooh, the battery's running out already. Ooh. That's for the doctor. Might as well pick that up. Just fine. Delivery bot number three is completed in order. Oh, isn't that just dandy? Come on, you stupid truck, get up the hill. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile express ID verified. Weapons detected. Bonk. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Is there anything in the truck? There's not. Okay. Hi. You're from Bridges, right? You don't have anything else for me, do you? No? Okay. What do I need to have for Never you? Mind. What do you want? Never thought I'd receive a delivery. Apparently she wants something else. What does she want? Yeah, that's fine. Hey, I have a favorite. There we go. 
Do you think you could find my father's camera for me? It's sure. Sure. Kind of a long story, but he used to conduct field research in the area. My father believed that the key to understanding the Death Stranding was hidden here, somewhere in the caves and strata. But he passed away before he could complete his work, leaving me to finish what he started. And not long ago, I found something, something amazing. I was sure it was what my father had been looking for, even if I couldn't see how it related to the Death Stranding myself. What I needed was an expert opinion, someone who could look at what I'd found and tell me what it meant. So, I grabbed my father's camera and set out to document my discovery. Took pictures of every last detail. But on the way back, I spotted a group of armed men and I panicked, dropped everything and ran like hell. Thankfully, they never saw me, but when I stopped running, I I realized the camera was gone, case and all. I've been trying to pluck up the courage to go and look for it ever since. But then, I remembered, and I figured, you being with Brit, please, I'd give anything. Yeah, to sure. Under the yes, yes, yes. Good work. New order we are available. definitely going to take that one. Or for sent. Retrieve to camp. Damn, that's a long way off. Accept the order. Oh. Riot shotgun. Semi-automatic shotgun that fires rubber buckshot. Ooh, that's a new one. I want that. We don't, we don't need a PCC, I'm pretty sure. Don't need armor plates. We'll use a blood bag. Let's grab one rifle, just to be cer certain. Okay. Head up. I didn't know we had access to a shotgun. That's... High performance springs. Why would the doctor need high performance springs? Ah, you're. F the funny thing is, we just cleared out that camp, so there's like like one or two others that's gonna be there. Right, sleep, concentrating is not easy, so we'll wish you a fun stream, Mr. Inch, and have a good one, sweetie. Sleep well, thank you very much for dropping in, and hope you feel better soon and that your back will stop hurting. We'll catch you next time. Again. 
Come on, pick it up. Pick it up! Oh, it's too heavy. Darn it. You're almost there. You can do it. You know, I would have been washed away like seven times over. Standing that far, that deep in water. I shot good. Do we have anything on us that we can add to the structure so we we do not? Sam, did you find our missing cargo? Huh? It looks like someone's carrying it around. Oh, they, they respawned? Yep. They respawned. And there's a new truck. Well, the new truck I'm happy with. Game again, how's it going? Hello, Pete. Welcome, welcome. It's going good, mostly. How are you doing today? Take out the driver. Darn it. Good, thanks. I'm glad to hear. Where did you guys come from? Sheesh. Holy bugger all. Son of a bugger. Come on, turn around. Thank you. Load into the truck.
blood bags. There we go. Son of a bugger. How were you taking so many shots? PCC so we can place a power pylon next to the photographer.
about you, kid. There we go. Yes, there we go. Now we're back. Okay. That's better. Why did you go so tiny? You're supposed to be this big. Uh, there we go. Yay. We function again. Sorry about that. I don't know why the, the computer crashed. Or the, the stream labs crashed. It, it happens every once in a while, but it's been quite some time since it crashed. So, I don't know. Can we hook up while we're in the water? Yes, we can. I can hear! Well, that's good. Okay, we're completely out of stamina, it seems. So. Load onto the carrier. Put that onto the carrier. Better. Let's grab the strength. Tie this part down. And. Let's grab the boat again, I guess. all the way up there
still in the truck. Okay, now he's taken out. That's good. And we're out of it. Darn it. Right in the face. <laughs> Go onto the truck. Go onto the truck. To the truck. On to the oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip containing small ammunition automatically replenish the ammo of the weapon in use when the clip is emptied. Okay. Go, 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 go. Anything else we need here? Anything there? No. We can still drop that PCC. Oh, there's somebody we still need to knock out. We need to knock you out. Okay. Hi. Bonk. There we go.
Vehicle fully charged. This will drain the battery pick up. So on the boundary of the network, we're gonna place another power pile. No, it's stupid, but this way we can drive the truck all the way to the other place where we need to go without running out again. Yay, battery charge. Want another song that's gonna get us a copyright strike or claim. Going into the truck. The hell's all the way up there? There's chemicals. Okay, that's fine. The front end of this thing looks more like the, the trucks you get from the bridges stations. Terminal. Make delivery for the camera. Delivering cargo. Oh wow! Thank you. I was afraid I'd never see it again. Like it always did. Battered and bruised? You don't know what this means to me. Yay! It was my father's <laughs> idea to move all the way out here. He thought he could get to the bottom of the Death Stranding all by himself. All and by his lonesome. Right him. But look where it got us. If you hadn't come along when you did, the camera would be gone. We can't let that happen. The world needs to hear about this. Someone out there will know what it means. So, connect us up. We want to be a part of the UCA. Yay! Another connection. And we're going to skip the animation, even though I very much like it, but it's just taking too long. New strand established. Photographer. Oh, we can make the shotgun. We can make a riot shotgun. I truly hope our work will help to make a difference. Wait, that Thank face looks again. familiar. I hope we get to meet again before too long. That face looks familiar. I don't know what from, but... Sam, it's Hartman. That camera you recovered contains some fascinating footage. The data stored on it was automatically shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. And? My lab still doesn't have a high-speed chiral connection, but I was able to check one of the images against a database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. 
The artists were likely Neanderthals or other precursors who were migrating across the continent. See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artists possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer, they couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind. That it has happened before. Since uh -huh. the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct. From bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event? That of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just well, imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. Where I'll the bloody hell are you? Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's vitals are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, it opened its eyes. It was looking all over as if searching for someone. And then our eyes met for a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, you better not. I still need to run that. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could think you can bring one more site into the network. Yeah, 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 once yeah. You have, and once I have sub this is the last I promise. Just Blah, one more. Good luck. I don't believe you. Good work. What do you need drills available? We can recycle a ton of stuff at least so we can get rid of all of it. Oh, hold on. And we can recycle that power glove because we have Jenny Silverhand's glove. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Bot delivery. Thank you for your deploying tiny little robots. Take on order what now? Oh, from photographer. Cover mill front. Okay. We don't want shotguns because even though they're great and all, but yep, nope. Anti BT shot normal gun and non lethal assault rifles. Three of them. Because I can't aim for a bugger. Confirm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Order assigned. Let's get rid of that shotgun. Yeah, let's just get rid of the shotgun, that's it. Oh, and a blood. Shush! That animation should be taken out. Mountaineers repaired cameras. Do we have the Mountaineer on the network yet? I don't know. Do we? Eh, let's just take it with us and we'll see. Thank you for your contribution.
careful. It gets slippery out there. Oh, what? How was that left behind? For the mountain air. Done. Why is it so loud? That would be proud. Well, that's good to hear for that. Will it just flow towards us? Because that would be helpful. We can stand in there. Okay. How were we not able to pick that one up? Hot springs. Place generator. Cargo. Oh, you're here. Good. Impressive as always getting here so quickly. Of course, that's what we do. Shotgun level two. Okay. Bloody hell. 
She's giving you some resin, lightweight, 800. Damn! Eight hundred resin. I hope we get to meet. Thank you. I guess. Good work. New order available. Please access yeah. delivery terminal for further. What kind of order? And for who? Go away. For the cosplay. Yep. Nope. It's way too far away. And that's the wrong truck. And we'll park this truck in the battery place so we can charge this one too. Bye for now, Sam. All yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Destination Engineer, Destination Mountaineer, 1388, 4400, okay, Destination Doctor, 900. Okay, so if we go to the Doctor, and then to the Mountain, not City, and then to the Mountain. Let's see if we can get there through this side. Some dude. Got some special ammo here. Yeah. No, load it into the truck. Into the truck. There we go. Technically, we should never have to cross the river if we go to the dock from this side. Yee, that's a cliff. Like a pro. Even my arm is rusty. Did you see that? Bot assist. Nope. Chemicals. Nope. Mountain Out City, nope. Photographer, nope. Something for the doctor, but it's on the other side of the river, so I don't want to grab it. Go. 
Do we need to go to the roboticist anyway? I don't think we do. No, there's no circle for that. No. Come on. Just keep rolling. Oh, that's cheating. How the hell? We're gonna cross there. Oh, there's a memory chip there. We cannot cross the river here. Drive up this cliff. No, 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 no. There. Like a pro. Okay. Yep, exactly. Come on, go. No, it's gonna hurt. I damaged my truck. Almost ruined. That's a bit. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Alcoholic beverages for mountaineer. We need to go there anyway. No, 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 no. 
Stop sliding. No. No. Stop it. Stop it. No. Where are you going? Stand still. Delivery. Deliver cargo. Yes. We do not entrust anything. Do not store. Uh, Hi, Doc. I must. Bye, Doc. So even an old man like Uh-huh. Good work. New order of Memory chip. Yes. Oh that be. Oh this will be right. Uh-huh. Hoo hoo. Sentinel one sixth lines action figure. Ludens action figure. Uh, to the roboticist, no, we can't take, oh, that's a thousand kilograms, we do not have, cannot do that. Yeah, we can do this. Deliver cargo within a minute for 54. That's too, that's too quick. I don't care about better shotguns. Load onto the truck. Go. Let's see if we can still drive the truck. That's going to be a challenge. Delivery parameters updated. Yep, Time that's whatever. Extent. Great. That's what I was afraid of. It's too much. Can recycle that, so that's fine. Can recycle that, so that's fine. Stop it. Nope. Let's see. Thank you can we drive me? Yes, we can. Instantly start destroying the bloody truck. We're gonna keep it alive until we get to the city.
equips. Come on. Photographer. Oh. Okay. Sheesh. Beginning scan. Scan bridges ID. Verifying ID. What do you need? Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Decontaminating soon. All clear. Welcome. Park the truck on here? No, you cannot park the truck. Deliver requested cargo. Hey, Sam. Look, I'm, uh, we wouldn't ask you for one. Wow, uh, Yay! An additional autonomous delivery bot can now be used. Sweet! A stabilizer level 2, so that's good. Although the downside is if we use the stabilizer, it will take away our additional battery power. But then again. It's not like we we don't really need the additional battery power. For further information. Let's see. Can we get rid of here? Get rid of that. Get rid of the grenades. Get rid of the other floating carrier. Do we not have two? Oh, we had two. Apparently, we do not. We can get rid of this one. Yep. Because we can put this one. That's fine. Yes, 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 yes. Blah, 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 blah. Rest. Take a knee. Okay, so I'm still curious. Who, do, who undresses us? Who takes off our clothes? Because we go to bed in full gear, and we wake up in, like, cargo pants and a morning, tank top. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. My safe house has been starting to deteriorate. That's no good. We got a couple emails. The terminal only works because of the network. Thank you again for not only delivering that terminal of mine, but providing a network connection for it to function. Otherwise, it would have been a box of circuits, yada, yada, yada. Photographer's mother. Dear Sam, you've done more for my family than you can ever know. Tremendous comfort to know my husband didn't die in vain, especially since it seems his work was so important. That's good. Dad will be so proud. The paintings of whales and dolphins I discovered in those caves might have been paintings by Neanderthals. Great. Me and my wife are good, but need a little something. If you're nearby, I'd like you to deliver something too. Okay, that's, that's fine. So we need to go to the mountaineer, but we need to go there anyway. Put on the glasses. Put on our hat. Chug a couple energy drinks. Mm. 
And eat a little floating bug. There we go. Take a shower. We'll skip this part so the ladies don't get distracted. Come on. Come on. Oh, you took a big dump, because it gave us seven grenades. That's a very big dump. Customize back. What can we make? Extra battery stabilizer, level two. Is it just as, yeah, it's just as bloody big as the other one. Well, we can change more colors. What kind of colors can we change? Olive drum. I don't care. Some sunglasses. Yeah, I don't care about that either because we've got Johnny sunglasses. Buy a shotgun. Maser gun. Magnetic accelerated stroke of electric reverberation. We should bring a maser gun with us just for the fun. I'm not gonna, but we should. Yeah, still no BB. I know. Terrible. Take on order from the mountaineer. Garage. What do we have in the garage here? A long range truck. Eh. Should be okay. Straight into the BT territory again. Of course we are. Yeah, jingle bells, jingle bells to you too. Ow. No, no, stop it. 
Stop sliding. Stop sliding. Apparently there's a reverse strike somewhere in the world. I don't know where it is, but... Please don't get in front of us. Oh, there's my first strike. Stop, 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 stop. No. Don't slide into the bloody rocks the entire time. Just drive around it. There we go. Damn. Sheesh. Stupid. The mountaineer is already connected, apparently. Sam Bridges, there's someone we need you to deliver a package to. She's a strange bird that lives even higher up in the clouds than we do. And the research she's doing, well, it's out there and then some. And we're talking straight up occult stuff, though she wouldn't be very happy hearing me say so. And she claims she's delving into the mysteries of the cosmos. Uh -huh. Anyway, I found this rock out in the mountains with a handprint on it. And when I mentioned it to her, she got all excited. I honestly don't know what kind of close encounter, but I was wondering and joining the... Like how there are all these... Yes, 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 yes. We will pick up that order. We'll deliver that stuff. And thank you for coming. To think you got this here without so much as a... You gotta give me a... Grab a truck and drive up the mountain. It's the only tip I'm gonna give you. Express purple. Right, we got a new paint. One or more bots of complete delivery. Here's hoping you don't. 
Okay. Word of Resent to the Spiritualist. Fragile Cargo. Oh boy. Delivered to snowy mountain mountainous area. Oh boy. Oh brother. That's gonna be a pain, isn't it? Load into the truck. Sam. It's just like the one at South Knot City. A vortex loaded with so much Chiralium that it's almost off the charts. Slowly but surely, it's creeping closer to us here in Mountain Knot. At least that's what I think, but I can't see it. Not with the naked eye. But the data doesn't lie. It's the same temporal phenomenon that you told me dropped you in a war zone. I told you. Uh, but that wasn't. The Cupid's Limiter can handle most Chiral Spikes, but we didn't plan for another supercell. Another supercell? I told you it was the same as before. Mama, is that you? You got me, Sam. It's been a while. But not really. Malinga and Lachna were the same. One body, one mind, one being. There's no point in trying to draw a distinction. Not in this world. We're all connected. Remember that. Okay. Order assigned. No, darn it. Stop clicking the wrong buttons. Deploying. We still have a PCC. We do not. Uh, Three level ones, no level two. Look at my poor truck, all snowed over. Construction complete. Weapons restrictions lifted. Oh god, that's a ton of stuff. Around us. <laughs> yeah, you're Right into BT territory, of course it is.
no run, something like it. Hello, sir. Welcome, welcome. Damn, that's loud as hell. Sorry, I turned the volume down a little bit because that was just too loud. I can't see anything. Is a cave? This looks like a cave. This is a cave. Okay. We wait out the storm? No, because we can't. Okay, why can't we not wait out the storm? Typical Sierra Nevada store, no biggie. I'll take your word for it, I don't know. Okay, this is gonna be permanently, permanently in the snowstorm. Okay, so waiting it out has no point. Impressive. Impressive snowstorm or oh, your knees. My knees are impressive, yeah. I couldn't do it. How the bloody hell are you supposed to do anything? You need a big go to unicycle. I don't know what I need, but I need something to get rid of all the whiteness. It's bloody annoying. I can tell you that. see anything and I'm already blind when it's not snowing like this Go away! I can't see bugger. I can't see shit. So what the point is the map marker? What's the map marker gonna do? Uh, okay, apparently I just drove off a cliff.
Please go away so I can see something. Please go away so I can see something. The loud noise is gone, so there's that. Still can't see anything. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to clear up. Yay! We can actually see something again. No, don't you dare sliding off the cliff. straight let's see can we place the charging thing we can't oh we need to go Something like that. Come on. Charge this thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Um, looks like we need to go that way around. What the hell did you get to the front door there? Can we get up here? 
Ah, there we go. Yeah, that was painful. Deliver. Sam Bridges, I've been expecting you. The Mountaineer told me all about you. I know this voice. The print you brought me, or stencil, as I prefer to call it is a vital clue. It hails from an era long before the dawn of human history. I'm going to date it and lay bare the cause of the Death Stranding. And when I do, all the secrets of the cosmos shall be revealed. All the secrets you know of the cosmos. It used to be a pyramid in ancient times. <laughs> it's true. You won't find a place closer to the beach than this. To the wellspring. A source of untold power? How else do you think that chiral network of yours works? But I digress. Show me the stencil. Oh, me the money! Thank you. It's in excellent condition. Of course it is. Get more condition, that's good. All right. Hello, girl. Hello, girl. Ooh, cookie. Yoink. And then oh, we got one to our right. Who is slightly to our right? Pepper interview with the spiritualist. Now I have everything I need to date the stencil. Once I have my results, I'll share them with you and your colleagues at Bridges. You've done a good thing, Sam. If you find anything else, be sure to bring it straight to me. I will. I'll be waiting. You should take this. I'm certain that it will be of use to you in your journey. What is it? A minigun? Oh. What the hell? Ah. Backpack accessory loft note. How, how is that of use? Bye. Sam, maybe 20. No evidence of lingering attachments or homesickness either. Perhaps its memory was erased after all. It better not all be. All that remains is for you to hook it up and take it for a run. I was hoping to return it to you as soon as possible, but uh, I don't want to. I mean, I do, but it's a little. What? We've got a problem. You may have heard about the massive. I left my yes. facility to perform some additional tests on the BB in the field. And now you know the cabin on the mountainside, northeast of Mountain North. Let's meet there. Good work. New order available. Meet up with that man. At the cabin near Mountain North City. Oh boy. Do you hear that storm? That's very loud. Near way station distribution center, Mountain City. That's how many bots could we send out? Three. Okay, that's good enough. Destination cab.
Ooh, that doesn't sound too great. So loud. Why is it straight up so loud every single time? We had a boy, and do you have power pumps? I'm glad for you that you had a boy. And I just scrapped my power glove. Whoops. Yeah. Where the hell is this cabin? Oh. Oh, crap cakes. How the bloody hell am I gonna get there? Go down a little bit and then there's a gap. Oh, we can definitely need to drive over that. Sounds great, but boy, is driving in the snow a pain in the butt. Like a pro. Complete episode six, Dead Man. The bridge between this world and the beyond, one beyond. Buddy bots, or ambulatory robots that operate within the cavern network. BB, you better keep Dead Man alive so you can get back to us. Cause... Oh, we're back on the beach. Oh, that man is now here. I don't think that man has been on the beach before. Give me my BB back. Batman, give me my BB. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. What in the world happened to that tank? Oh, that 
that's not good. happening zombie skeleton soldiers It's the it's Mats Mickelson again. Yes. Hello Mats. How are you doing, Mickelson? BB's tripping. All that creepy smile. Episode 7, Clifford. That was a very creepy smile. Come on, Sam, wake up. We gotta save BB. Who's gunning for BB? He must be our ticket home, right? Don't ask me. This is only my second time. And without BB, he'll be hard to find. Lucky for you, I've got BB here in tip top shape, just waiting for you. And where the bloody hell are you? Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? I'm in the sewers. Hang on. I can see a tower through a hole, a, a square tower, right above my position. Gotcha. I'll find it and search for a sewer entrance. Okay. Can you sit tight for now? Gladly. I won't move an inch. Yeah, well, if I'm slow, you might have to. What? That warrior asshole. He wasn't after me. He was after BB. <sighs> Fuck me. Rather right not. If he's looking for anyone, it's you. Oh, no. Hurry the hell up, Sam. I'll Keep try. I'm on my way. And don't hook up BB either. You'll lead him straight to you. Oh, boy. Not that you would, since you hate them. I just did because I was scared to death. Disconnect. Now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do? Fight back? Yes. If I have to choose between BB and myself, well... Uh... You won't. I'm ending the call. Sam. 
It's not easy being me. No wife, no children, no friends. And so I sought solace, sought company in the dead. Over time, I made them a part of me, 70% of who I am today. But meeting you has opened my eyes. Uh huh. You're very this special. is not the time, Sam. Batman. Not the time. Sort everything. Uh, I don't know if we need. Stop shooting at me. I don't know if we need it. Should have a ladder with me. I do not. Darn it. I thought I did. Use for the switch, the odor rack, and the spotlight. It will shine in whatever direction the camera is pointing. It is bloody loud. Check on BB. There's no BB.
Ah, crap. What did I drop? Blood bank. Why the hell is it all the way over there? Give me my BB. Sam, over here. Sam. No. The little one should be working again. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, well then. What did you do to my BB? Maybe this is a special beach for soldiers who died in battle. Maybe we should get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm surprised. I thought you would have abandoned BB by now. <laughs> Discard precious hardware? Never. So. Do you still share memories? I see. Stay here. Seems like I got other memories to tend to. I'm taking him down as you get us both out of here. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm starting to understand why BB is so important to you. Huh? It's just a tool. Life and death are supposed to be irrelevant. But we've got attached to each other all the same, haven't we? <sighs> Kid's not just a tool. Name's Lou. Lou, huh? That's a good name. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Idiot stickers cat stuck. We have any anything lethal? We only have non-lethal stuff. Is he acting like he's a spider in the spider's web? It's the little things that make us smile. True. Oh boy, we gotta fight Mats again.
There's a normal assault rifle. How is there not a giant bloody will here? There's an entire will here. Why? Shotgun. I don't want a shotgun. I don't want armor plate. You want it blood bag. Maybe we'll just pick up the shotgun just in case. I will be... Where are you? Where's my baby? My baby. Another assault rifle. I just picked up another assault rifle. Where is it? There it is. There we go. 
Come on, come on, switch, switch. Defeat the mysterious man. Hooray! That's this is my baby. Dark tank. Complete episode seven, Clifford. Hooray! Oh. And we're back from outer space. We are all kinds of muddy with all that look upon our face. My BB is not here. Oh, my BB is here. BB. Damn. The hell was that? Hello? Lou? How's little Lou doing? No response. <laughs> well, look at that. That child's taking a shine to me. I hate you. You two were out cold, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. You 
You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. <laughs> I'm already back in Capital Knot. Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. Sam, I owe you an apology. Yes, you do. You stole my baby. Give your own baby if he'd have made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. I found some records from ten years ago. A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. A void out. Her husband, who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. The whole town was wiped off the map, leaving nothing but a big crater and him. Because he was a repatriate. People wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. They were going to name their son, Lou. Didn't happen. But it did. President Strand told me. She talked about you all the time. He didn't have to cut all ties and walk away, she said. You wanna shut the fuck up? Calm down, Sam. Take a seat. I told you before about my body. 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. We know. Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. I never had a birthday. I'm a soulless meat puppet. No car, a dead man. People born the traditional way have beaches. You have one, BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother, no afterlife, no beach. Son of a beach. Why I'm so obsessed with it all? Nope. Why I joined Bridges? The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hate it. Because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone. Anyone. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. Oh, that. You were holding it. It's an old dog tag. U.S. issue. Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was because US he's Army BB Special dead. Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's him. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. You must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. Aww. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded.
So, do we now have to reconnect with BB? Customize BB's pot. Ooh. Ooh. Phoebe's pot is now carpet. You okay? Okay. Let's take a shower. Skip. Sam, do you copy? As you might have suspected. Time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. We figured uh, as much. To, to explain a little, our bodies, our ha, all occupy the same world. But our souls, our ka, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs, religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. However, if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is ex exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, exits vanish, and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't explain it. But if you can connect me to the chiral network, who knows what we might discover. Uh-huh. Okay, we got a ton of number zero grenades that I still haven't used. Ten grenades. I still haven't used those for anything useful. Still there, Sam? If so, I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. Uh, of course. Uh, take a pee. Hurry up, he needs to drink a monster. Exactly. One, two, three. Put on glasses. Put on our hat. Look at the weird little new toys we got. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Yeet. A little bug. Check our terminal because there's a ton of new messages, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Recovery request. I need you to secure a chip in BT country. I'm sure. The order's waiting for you at Mountain City. That's Deadman stuff. Deadman's winter boot and boots. Coat and boots could be somewhere nearby. Okay. We had a boy. Do you have power? The whiteout. Well, the whiteout was definitely annoying. Come on. Aww. There we go. Okay. Leave. Come on, BB. There we go. We got our connection back. Who the hell are you? John. Is that you? 
What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. They don't want to repeat it last year. Who the hell are you? I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were coming. Hooray! Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. Okay, so that's good. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. We need you to bring her home safely. Yeah, 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 yeah. But before yeah. you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. Hartman's lap. Of course you would. The dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would like very much to know the reason why. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say, one minute remaining. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Of course we will. Okay, now let's create a truck. And I do not know. Now oh, there we go. Equip silver hand. Whip. Uh, utility pouch. Go far back. Do not want normal shuck. We do want these three. Definitely want that. We do want that. Okay, do we wear okay, we are wearing boots. Okay, so we can put that on the boot clip. with us. Oh, we need this one. Okay, confirm. Recycle. Assault rifles. Shotgun. All these stupid grenades. Never gonna use. Yes, 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 yes. Standard orders for the bots, yes. Only do one bot. Okay. Thank you for your company. 
No, we don't want to entrust cargo to anybody. Order for sale. Recover the chip from the BT area. Yes. Recovery. Apartments winter close. This area, this order cannot be taken at the same time as the order list. Okay, so we have to do those. One by one. Okay, that's fine. Confirm. 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 Yes. Order assigned. Okay. Whose cargo was that that we lost cargo? That's for the engineer. Don't be so dramatic. Oh, here we go. It's already a hassle to drive up this little set. Didn't I say never hide? Go away, stupid person. I wonder if anyone's watching. Oh, we got some Kyridium crystals to donate. that stuff. We always have enough. Engraved chip all the way up. That's in BT territory. Yep.
It's over there, but where? Right in front of us, but it must be. Bu oh, it's over there. Is that it? Let's resort everything. There we go. Stop sounding so dramatic. We made it up. Delivery. Deliver. The chip for V. Hey, Sam. Tough journey. Wow. You, I mean, honestly, you'd be hard pressed to call this anything. Okay. So that's good. Hooray! Trauma Team AV Cyber 2077 using its features. This now consumes less battery. Oh, we can. Okay. That's good. Thanks, Sam. 
Yes, 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 yes. Blah blah. Yeah, please. Good work. Uh, deliver the lost cargo, so because we're not gonna go. Doing the other stuff. Okay. Pick up Hartman's cloak. Or Dead Man's cloak. Yes. Dead Man's cloak. Okay. We will need a transported track. Defensive long range. Transporter. No, we need a long range strike. Yep. Turn. Order assigned. Because it's a lot easier to drive up to mountains on a bike. Than it is to do it with the truck. Apparently, it's not. Sheesh. Weapons restrictions lifted. We're supposed to be easier to drive than the truck, bike. Be driving up the mountain in the snow. We'll be driving up the mountain in the snow. We'll be driving up the mountain, driving up the mountain, driving up the mountain in the snow. Wait, there's a highway. We're on a highway ahead. Get all the way up there.
there anything else or do we have to turn it? Okay. Delivered wind close the mountain and city. BT territory. For just snow. Please just be snow, not BT territory. Oh. Almost ruined. Truck. Long range. Did I leave a truck out in the middle of nowhere somewhere? bike I'm trying to break. Okay. Fine, I'll do it the hard way. There's the coffee maker we wrecked. There we go. Eight or two of the green pastures. did you expect? Yeah, that's great. Fantastic. Thanks. You're in. Yes, yes, yes. Good work. New. And then take on order. Corpse delivery to Hartman's lab. Should be able to put that on the track, right? Load onto the track. Yes. Confirm. Head out. So, out to Hartman's lab we go. Oh, Lockney is bringing us the body. All right, Sam. Take care of her. We will. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Millingen special. Yeah, we noticed. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. <laughs> so 
So what do you call, uh, do we call you if you're both Malingan and Lockney? Do we call you Molokha? Deliver. The doctor and then beyond or that was the easiest way to get damn that's looks like a painful way to get up there or should we go straight through here this looks like a terrible spot hmm. i don't know we'll figure it out at some point hello elizabeth welcome welcome how are you doing how's everyone i'm doing good confused of how to get across the mountains to deliver the body, but we'll figure something out eventually. Hopefully, maybe, probably. Oops. No, mind me, I'm a pro. Okay, I'm gonna build this road, so we need what? Five, six hundred and, no, five hundred and forty. And 380. 380, 540. Just finished playing D and D. Had a blast. Awesome. That's always good to hear. Play materials. So. That's 540. And we need 380. Ceramic. 320. 360. Three. Yeah. Make that zero and pick up one of those. Okay. Load everything into the truck. Hello, Carrie. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Good day, mate. We have to do it the other way, right? Okay, that's the bots that are delivering. And we'll pick up the Well, let's build this highway. That's been bothering me for I don't know how long. Can I not count? I'm 180 short. Am I seriously that much of an idiot? short and 80 ceramic short. Make some Vegemite toast. I'm good, how is everyone? Vegemite? Why would you make Vegemite? That's so distinctive in taste. Let's, let's put it that way. Have a pleasant journey. Weapons 
We mean to try that eventually. Yeah, it is. It's a very distinctive taste. Those who like it swear by it, and the other people just uh, can't get used to it. not helpful because we need to go left forgot to put lever down and waiting on the toaster to pump uh -oh. well that's not helpful Try this. Hello, Derek. Welcome, welcome. Sorry I'm late. It's WrestleMania weekend, so there's just so much to watch. Well, I'm, hope, I'm hoping you're having a lot of fun with it. If you're enjoying it. The WrestleMania. Okay, that we can climb this this side of the mountain with this truck. And that's just sheer impossible okay this is not the way this is not the way so we either have to go around or we have to go around here apparently i left some stuff here How do we get to the roboticist? That's also climbing across the sheer mountainside. Okay, we're gonna try go around here. Yeah, let's try. Let's try that. Come on, move it. We will be bouncing up the mountain when we come. We will be bouncing up the... Stop! 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 There we go. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that works. Oh, but it's like Mad Max all over again. Kinda no. It's more like Rage 2 all over again because there I had all these issues with driving around too. Mad Max, I never had issues driving around. Although sometimes I did try to sneak a shortcut by just trying to climb up to straight cliffs, but no, no. What can't you do? No. Stop sliding down the mountain. No, don't turn around, you stupid bloody flipping truck. There we go. There we go. That's the way you should go. Oh 
<laughs> Still got it. Time to whip out the bicycle like a true Dutch. Oh hell no. This thing needs some NOS. It has NOS. Or kind of whatever equivalent of electric NOS is. If I boost up the mountain with the with the booster, with the turbo option, it kind of does get up places. Is that an offensive stereotype? I hope not. No, I'm just lazy. I hate I hate being active on a bike because it makes you tired. No! No! Yeah, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Mother, don't look. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to go that way. Yes. I think we nearly caused an avalanche. Avalanches and I don't know. It sounded like it. And there were like rocks falling down the cliff, but I don't know if we caused it or that's just part of the natural scenery. Ow. Natural scenery. Hmm. It's funny that we took the most highest cliff that we could find to get there. Yeah, it actually worked. I don't care if the battery's running out. We are here! I better not ever see our UPS guy doing this. Oh, I am sure that your UPS guy does this. Have you seen their trucks? They are near indestructible. Oh, that hurt. This is equivalent to spamming jump Skyrim to get up onto it. Yeah, this is literally the Skyrim horse mountain climbing. Not even spamming jump, just the Skyrim horse. We will be driving up the stairway when we come. We are driving up the stairway when we come. We are driving up the stairway, driving up the stairway. You had a passenger the whole time. No, I had a corpse. That, that's, that's a dead body. It's Mama's corpse. Make delivery. Why can I not deliver the corpse? Mama's corpse. Carry on. Yes. Let's put all this in the truck. Did you say Mama's corpse? What the hell happened? She died. He 
she died in the last episode. But it's actually not, she's not technically dead. Didn't you incinerate your mom's corpse like five episodes ago? Yes. But Mama is not mom. And Mama still lives on in Lockney. Because Malingan and Lockney are kind of the same person now. They, they, they kind of live on. And we did make a new delivery route. Because it's in the truck. Yeah, apparently. We did make a new delivery route. Because I'm sure not many people tried to go across the, the tallest cliffs in a truck. Difference between new delivery route and the shortest route. Times 6.1. <laughs> Whoops. Clones. She's no, 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 no. Clones. They're twins. And they have like a, a, con a connection spiritually or whatever. But not clones. Malingan and Lockney are twins. I don't know why I still have her body on the back of my character when we just literally delivered her, but... No one dies, only bodies. Let's say twins are basically clones of each other. Thermal pad. What the hell is a thermal pad used to the facility with a cadaver? I don't want to. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Open the door. Until resuscitation time remaining time 160. Wait, what? Why do I need to resuscitate? I don't understand. Or are we gonna bring Mama back? That that would be weird. Oh, do we need to resuscitate him? Uh, oh, he's dead. How come you got a body? I don't know. I'm only delivering Harm. cardiac arrest and resuscitate. Shock. Stand clear. <sighs> Hello, Hartman. Episode eight, Hartman. Because everybody needs somebody. Wait, what? Well, you certainly caught me. With Time until death. Sam. What? Glad you could make it, Sam. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please lay her down there. So he dies and then regenerates himself every single time? That's weird. You know your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach and then return. Okay, that's terrible. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. Dang it. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. 
Maybe it's so, because he's out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. From the scene an impressive number of times. My beach count is a little higher. Two hundred and eighteen thousand five hundred and forty-nine. <laughs> yeah. Does he intentionally stop his heart so he can do I this? I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It looks like, like a heart. Looking at the shape of my heart. Or a bum. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. He has a heart shaped heart. The days what? That followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? Twenty if likes received. Death would see us reunited. Then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. Oh, it's true what they say. Death really is a beach. Yes. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. Because she is. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. She is still alive. Inside Lockney. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah. Found it. Behold. Wait. Dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. Because it was. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. Good luck. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others. As if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. This guy's kind of weird. This yep. twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions. I'll have my answers one day. One day. One day. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, 
they may give rise to an altogether different beach. A collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Kinda, yep. <laughs> so just a little bit. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the seam. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Uh huh. BT model artists impression sighting. BT model artist impression sighting too. Ordo Vician period or. Give me that. No, can't zoom into those. We can zoom into that. Unknown or recovered from void out crater. Pyro crystal, immediate post DS period. BT apparition, artist impression. BT illustration, artist impression, sighting number three. Plesiosaur, real skeleton. No. Looks more like a plesiosaur. Antique record player. Bartman's daughter. Bartman's family. Ew. Nendoroid Jumbo Ludens. Oh. Oh. Apartments AED. The Kyle Hourglass, Arbiter of Life. Mama's remains. The perfect corpse. Hey. Come zoom in. No. Daddy as drawn by his kid daughter. I love you, Daddy. Anything else that we missed? Oh. Oh. Think he's into dead things. I think so. No luck. Visit two hundred and eighteen thousand five hundred and fifty. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? 
I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Perfect corpse yeah. implies things. And no. <laughs> now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one, and intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. 20 minutes of love. Before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. Uh -huh. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> I'm not one to hug you. Stop! <laughs> he broke the fourth wall. I've read about your he broke the fourth wall. He gave a thumbs up to us. My family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst, but the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. That's a lot of dead people. Just run, he's got atomic fire in his eyes. Yup. The people who died in the two void outs were there. Or a what zombie happened? shuffling. What's going on? I don't want to be quiet. You shush. I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. 
It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain <laughs> lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? I do not. Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Mm -hmm. Armily proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. Mm -hmm. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, so far, so how far across the country have you made it? She assigned our backup team here. I uh, like two thirds, three the quarters. Informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes hmm. to cardiac arrest. Shut up! I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe. He's gonna die and fall over. The tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. See, it's gonna fall over. The air mat absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. Thank you, Black Mask. Teabag him. I can't. Or I would. You would dock 20 likes by heart. <laughs> yep, yeah, boy. Ah, we got 20 likes while he's dead. That's funny. Yeah, boy. Sam, you heard it. Grab the order at a delivery terminal. Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Uh huh. Take on order for Sam. 
Antimatter bomb for the paleontologist and the geologist. Sure. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Uh -huh. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. Sure. Administering shock. Stand clear. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. Yak, 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 yak. One more thing, Sam. Really? For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. Of course we Bridges will. Which is paleontologist working. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar. And the only way he can get... Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling... Hot. Make sure you keep that container in one piece. Antimatter bomb. Sure. Thermal pad. pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow capped mountains. Okay, so. We got two of those for some reason. I don't know what we need them for. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extra. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trimmel plant. Attach to suit. Right shoulder. Attach to suit. Left shoulder. Auto range cargo. Confirm. Okay. Order assigned. Whoops. Wait, which one did we needed to go first? We needed to go to the geologist first. How deep is this lake? My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, and I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's BTT or PCC in here. Yeah. 
the way up there. Can we drive up the mountain without crashing into everything? We'll be driving up to mountain when we can. We'll be driving up to mountain when we can. We'll be driving up to mountain, driving up to mountain, driving up to mountain when we can. Oh, looks like it's better to go over there first. Easy. Vibrations, we barely hit a bump. Oh, bro. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, indeed. What? Okay, we're going to have to walk this. I did that on purpose because I wanted to reload. Okay, so that's on the carrier. This tool rack. Put this rack. And this out of range. Thank you. Confirm. Now we need to run. Cable, tie that cable down, and... Sam, so Hartman told you all about the lake, how the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, 
before. This region is rich in memories of death, extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab? Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> He's weird. Like, really, really, really weird. Apparently somebody peed in here, which is, which is funny to me. Close night. There you go. You get some likes for peeing in the middle of a lake. You're gonna catch pneumonia in the water. I'll be fine. I got heating pads on my shoulders. Nobody out here. One of those damn fools. I'll be fine. We can rest here. Ah, that's toasty. That's toasty. How is it toasty? You're sitting in the middle of a thing. Come on, sleep. You can do it. There's even steam coming off our heating pants. You see that? There's steam off the heating pants. And it looks like we're sleeping inside the middle of a dung pile. Too. I don't know if it is, but it looks like it. Bond with Lou restored. There we go. Alright, feeling good. Of course it's gonna s I wouldn't it. We'll keep flies away. What, the heating pads? Or the dung pile? Those things are seriously draining our battery, though. The heating pads. Can we take one off? We can't. Put that on the carrier.
burning down ah. There we go with the Jingle Bells music again We waddling and we waddle, we waddle some more. No, 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 no. Carts constantly hitting my ankles. If this was something that happened in real life, I would be so mad that I would kick that cart like 7,000 miles away. It's constantly bumping into the back. Oops, so. The geologist. Oh. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. I kind of not like that thing. There we go. the wise pen. The wise pen is that way. <laughs> hey, you're fine. The snow is soft enough so that you can fall face first into it and still be fine. The 
wasn't a suggestion, it was just a com observation. Shovel your driveway. Yeesh. Make delivery. Sam Bridges. Oh, thank God for that. I, I was worried you might not get here in time. But then I've done nothing but worry of late. I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff. Uh huh. Put the nightmares down to fatigue. A uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Uh huh. Dying's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. Nowhere it's near. It's not just my life you're saving here, it's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Obviously. Yeah, we can skip that part. Here we go. One or more boss left delivered, which is fine. Ooh, we're close to leveling up delivery volume. Oh, yes. Right then. <laughs> if you'd do the honors. We can finally collect a network with BB with us again. Yes. There's two giant caps that I'm really annoyed by on the map. Do you see those? They, they, they really do annoy me. Climbing anchor level two? What the hell is a climbing anchor level two? And just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, studying this fossil beach should be a good deal, e assuming I can prove once for honestly though i'm just can you believe i found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years yeah sure Evidence i can believe it chiral matter has existed on earth since long before the dawn of man this stratum is proof of that mm -hmm. yeah, 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 this, yeah. do you see that black fissure there we believe this is the source of the chirelian readings in the distant past Earthquakes cause frictional melting along fault lines, uh -huh. producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. Bless you. These layers, fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. Of course it, it can't. It strongly suggests that beaches uh -huh. must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The Chiral Network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events, too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. Uh huh. In expanding the Chiral, you Yes, yes, yes. This. Blah, blah, blah. See this through. That's a lot of yakety Good work. New... New order for the bots. Deliver that and deliver that. Good luck. Yep. 
Uh, what's the difference with this one? Improved version of the climbing anchor. It's more compact form. Enables more anchors to be packed into a single container. Improved durability and time for resistance. And a length of 30 meters instead of 25. Okay, that's great now. We need a uh, container with it. Go. To the roboticist? No. And we got a memory chip, right? Forgot about that one. You picked this up for me? No, I really shouldn't have, and I really didn't do it for you. Dr. Strangelove. Thank you for your contribution. Okay. So... What it looks like to be... You can do it. Oh crap, I need to play a power thing. We need the power. Okay. Let's sit down while we wait for the thing. cargo for the roboticist. Now yeah, we can pick it up. Turn around, turn around, thank you. We picked the worst thing huh, it looks like. Yep, we definitely picked the worst path imaginable. Thank you. Mwahaha. We Skyrim our way up there. We can do it. Ah, uh. you're fine. Be quiet. 
<laughs> BB's giving us a thumbs up. We shake the baby. Pick the baby. One like received from Lou. Okay. Pick up what? There Apparently there was Carol Crystal right in front of us. Ah. Don't fall over. Just keep walking. Good boy. Cargo container route. Who are you? The paleontologist. There you go. Cargo container root. Okay, didn't we bring like that? What? Uh, container root. Just get rid of it. Pick up the cow crystal wall. We're over here. Paleontologist again. No. 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 We didn't care. Going to slide. No, we're not. I'm happy. No, 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 whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Disconnected from the chiral network. Subject matter, chiral nightmare. Dude, stop tripping over rocks that you can clearly see.
patience for low roar. Um, that doesn't seem the optimal route. Okay, that's not the optimal route. B10, where's B10? B10, go away. I don't want to have patience, I just want to get there. can do it. Walk down the hill quicker. Be much easier. Just run down the hill. No need to take it easy. The paleontologist. Yay! South of Mountain North City, the paleontologist! That was glitchy. What's special alloy ladder climbing anchor? Why? Why is that there? Hi. Make delivery. Confirm delivery. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can. Much obliged. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. Well, just once, one foot in front of the next. My boss have delivered. It's great. Oh, delivery volume still hasn't leveled up. You can Darn it. The Kyle now. Yay! Got another one of these. Let's skip it because it takes too long. Look at that. There's three holes in the map. That's that's not good. I don't like the three holes in the map. Oxygen mitts. Wait, what? Ooh, better hermetic grenades. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a... Why do we get an oxygen mask? Porter was on his way here with something very... It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Calling me skeptical, but... The specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was didn't. supposedly lost in the area to the southwest. Uh -huh. where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Ah, that's what we need the Mr. oxygen mask. Claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you, you could track it down. Of to course I can. Against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask, just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. Okay. That fossil. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not could the we must. It could progress so, blah, so blah. hurry, Sam. Dead. Dead man, you're kind of annoyed. Okay, so what do we have on our cargo thingy that we can get rid of? We can get rid of the special alloy. Hmm, and that's about it. Okay. Shush, go away. 
Make delivery, lost cargo, and trust. Yes, we have it here. Take on order. Recover ammonite. How heavy is it? 63 kilograms. 63 kilograms! Enough. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If Brain you battery while battery equipped. Life, Be sure to keep, you to keep it. Aww. Okay. So let's take two, and let's take two. Confirm. Put on the mask. And attach the suit. Uh, carry on. Rearrange. There we go. Oh, I'm sure we're going to need that. We will make two of the rank two hooks. Fabricate climbing anchor two. That's a weird oxygen mask. Chemicals, chemicals, chemicals. Is this the paleontologist? Is this the paleontologist? Wait. Yeah, that's the paleontologist. Okay. So we can pick up that. How the hell is it all the way up the bloody hill? Organism supports. Oh, we can't drink while we're climbing the wall, I guess. Can we drink now? How about now? Oh, we cannot drink because we've got the hat. The thing. Okay. Can we drink now? We can. Okay. And then we can wear the hood again. So it's all the way down there, but how do we get down there? 
Looks like we're gonna have to climb way down. Oosh. Ladder. No, can we not? Can we not place the ladder to go downwards? What? Why can we not do that? Oh, we can. Come on, come on. Nope, that doesn't work. Nope, that doesn't work. That kind of works. Climbing on curve. Yeah, 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 oh, our battery's almost dead. Crap. Do we not have a PCC with us? Oh, please tell me we... Aw, oh, crap cakes, we don't have another... PCC. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Yep, that's a problem. Turn around, Sam. Turn around. Okay, we're dead. We're dead. Take off that turtle pant. Uh, power skeleton. Into the carrier. To the carrier, out of range. There we go. Knocked out. Yep. That's what I was afraid of. That nabbit. Let's make a couple PCCs. Rough punch, huh? Yep, apparently I managed to mess up. Because I'm an idiot. Um, do we have any anchors? We need those. We got plenty of ladders. That's fine. Okay. Hello, King Blocked. Welcome, welcome. You done messed up. I done did. We can take off the heating pad I don't care about that we do want to use that part we're going to put on the gas mask that's fine, auto raise that put a lot carrier spare magazine on the carrier put one rifle on the carrier come 
Confirm. Okay. That's fine. And then we're gonna leave the carrier here. I do not think that we need all that crap right now. Oh, did I load all the PCCs on the carry? That's stupid. Deck nabbit. I don't know why it is suddenly all this kinds of stuttery and glitchy, but... I'm excited because I'll have my first train trip in a few hours, so I'll fall asleep to the stream, hopefully. Well, I'll try and be calm and pleasant, although... Chances are I'm going to be my usual annoying self. For which I would apologize. But I do hope that you have an amazing trip. make sure that we power up our entire system let's turn it off for now because we only need it once we go down into the cave okay we are powered I don't know why it is so stuttery all of a sudden. It's annoying. Prepare the gas mask. Place an anchor. How the hell did you do that? You blithering idiot. Almost had it. There we go. I'm sorry. I need to go out of the out of the park for just a little bit. I'll be right back. I need to run to the toilet. Be right back.
Okay. And can we place that here? Oh, we can actually just place it here. That's funny. Because we need another generator, because apparently our battery is almost empty again. Grab the rope. Okay, let's go down a little bit further. Let's charge up. There we go, fully charged. Grab the ladder into the cave. That's all five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. No. That way. There we go. Let's see if we can climb up the thing without bumping our giant pack of stuff into the cliffside again. I don't want to climb down 17 times. I don't think we can climb up without bumping into the stump. Looks like we're gonna have to find another way out. Oh no, we made it! Wow! I'm actually surprised. There we go. Greatest around. Three charts. They charged. There we go. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Hey, you. The terminal make delivery. And oh, you found it. Of course, I, I found let it. Let me see. I have to see it. Oh my. What did you expect? It really is immaculately preserved. Uncannily, even. Uncanny. Neanderthals are not extinct. Hartman's theory of evolution and biblical courts in Devonian era fossils. Volcano orange. More robots. Oh, only condition. Create a little bit. Volume not. Thanks for bringing it up. And yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord. I've already sent some images and a preliminary. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine. 
An evo devil biologist. Evo devil. What the bloody hell does that mean? Evolution and de de evolution. To examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collector. Evolution development. I don't know. Deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets we've already made. Stop so yakking much so much. Data recovered by the net with York. Good work. New order available. Uh, let's see what the bots can deliver. Cutting edge food mushroom. Insect foodstuffs. Oh, that one. There we go. We have the little robots deliver that. Take on order for Sunny. To the Evo Devo biologist. Sure. Accept. Anything interesting in here? No, 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 no. Okay. Confirm. Load all into the carrier, please. Thank you. Yeah, I don't need that. Time for add up. Retrieve at the BT area. And deliver to the other thing. Okay. Okay. What the? Hang on, is the heating pad, is that equipped? Where's the heating pad? Oh, the heating pad is not equipped. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. I'm gonna get covered in tar. Well, that's open. Oh, and now I need the heating pad again. What? Bloody flipping. Attached to the suit. Seven hundred meters in the sun. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight over the mountainside there. Who cares? The hell is that? Just a little bit. Do, 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 do. Our little cargo carrier is kind of getting kind of full. Oh, I should have turned in the special alloy. I yeah, will do that at the next Place another charging pylon before we get there, I guess. Because the batteries are draining quite quick. By this time, I'll be placing more bloody 
power charging stations than freaking Tesla. You can have a cup of light for your magic mystery. Still within the network? We are. Okay. Just keep plowing through the snow. A constant wind noise is kind of getting on my nerves. This is gonna be a bloody sheer cliff downwards. Looks like it. That wouldn't be great. At least I got a couple climbing anchors. Yep. Sheer cliff. Brick. Oh, we should be. Let's recharge just to be safe. Cargo. Uh, we need these two. Stop complaining. Your vicinity in the Chiral Network. Chiral Artist Studio. The generator is starting to deteriorate. That's not good. My poor generators. Reminds me of a movie. I don't remember which movie, but there's one dude just going against it all by his lonesome climbing over the mountain with a weapon carrying carrying a weapon constantly like this.
There's resin down at the bottom of the cliff. Is this a cliff wall or can we climb down? Yeah. Let's place an anchor. Oh, we cannot place an anchor. Never mind. Because we cannot have our little floating carrier crash into the ground. Go away, stupid mosquito. You're not supposed to be here yet. It's not summertime yet. Is there toxic gas again? I don't like toxic gas again. So we can get rid of this one from the carrier. It's fine. Okay. Because we're out of the sn Volcano Observatory. Oh shit, shit, shit. Whoops. I done tripped. Key cargo. Party. There we go. There we go. BTs. How many grenades do we have with us? Oh, a ton. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy.
Why do I still hear footsteps? There. Going through grenades way faster than I should. It's not good. Way closer than I thought he would be. Where is he? There he is. Oh. That's behind me. I don't care about it.
I know, baby. one big one that dropped a ton of Cairo. We need to grab that one first because the other ones are all inside that little arc. Shake the baby. I was not prepared for this. I was definitely not prepared for this.
Oh shit. Is approaching autotoxemia. That's good. to shake the baby. They're all literally in the way, like right in our pathway. That's no good. Why are you all in my way? That's not nice. Okay, now that one is empty. That one still has one thing. that one. We see one walking, but I don't see any.
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay, that's all the stuff collected. Now we need to get the hell out of here. Can we get the hell out of here without walking into more of these idiots? But looks like we got a clear path ahead. Hopefully. Whoops. There. Ooh. There's three straight behind us. That's fine if they are behind us, as long as they are not in front of us. Show yourself. Need to go that way. You can be there, that's I don't care. Fly away. Shoot. Stupid thing. There. Don't care. No, that's it. Don't. We need to go. Down. Anything ahead? It doesn't look like it. Put that gun away. Let's get the hell out of here. Sheesh! Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Jump up, climb, there we go. It'll be fine, just keep climbing. Is that one of those relaxation tar pits? Because there's ducks in there. Ugh. The recharging spring. But we cannot bathe because it's raining. Yeah. Or snowing. Yeah. Wait, couldn't we like place one of those weird things here? Oh, hang on. Is the snow clear? Yeah, the snow's clear. Sweet. Bath. Due to the presence of nearby subterranean tar deposits, the mineral rich sediment of this spring carries a harmless electrical charge capable of replenishing depleted batteries. While it is commonly accepted that the bathing here is beneficial to general health and recovery, Visitors are encouraged to exercise caution while immersing batteries in water. I wasn't planning on immersing the batteries in the water, but... Is BB gonna swim again? 
Oops, that, that was always freaky when it BB does that. Yep, BB swimming again. Yeah, enjoy it while you can, Sam. Okay, is everything recharged? Yep. Let's get back up. Everything's recharged. There we go. Kinda was hoping for like an achievement. Took a bath in like seven different or in four or five different Recharging springs. Sadly, no such luck. Okay. Uh, heating pad. Uh. Attach the suit. Place a climbing anchor. That's fine. There we go. No, 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 no. Stop sliding down the mountain. Climb up. Yes, we have literally climbed across way worse mountains. Stop complaining and walk up it. Evo Devo Biologist. Delivery. Deliver. Delivering cargo. I'm impressed, Sam. Not many people would have even attempted this. May I have a look? No, I brought it so I you can't look. It inside is safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. Of course I do not disappoint. Yay, delivery volume is increased. Yes. The title of great courier can now carry more cargo. Oh, it's great. Now, that's where my studies... Let's connect you up to the network, then. I still need to fix those three gaps in our ma in our ma I hate it. Grenade m ooh. Ooh, grenade launcher. Thank you. It goes Hi. Saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. Yeah. After all, both it and Timefall are the defining features of the post stranding ecosystem. Yep. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, 
the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. Uh -huh. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. Uh -huh. But there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made. For every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar. Evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Sure you do. Well done, Sam. Thank you again for... Speaking of which, my analysis of it... I've been comparing the data against some of our... Anyway, preparations are finally... If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here... What kind of materials do you need for the next one? Uh... The lost cargo, but that's all for the paleontologist. Yeah, we can cross him, cross by him later. Ranked order and bot orders. That's fine. Go send the bots out. Okay, recycle, recycle, and that, and that. And that. Cycle all of Yes, 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 yes. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Grenade launcher. Can be loaded with four types of ammo. Anti-BT, lethal, slip rounds, and non-lethal tranquilizer rounds. Hey. They're heavy. 6.1 kilograms, but... Click the right one, please. Thank you. Uh, we need silver heat. No, we definitely need more. There we go. Love. Okay. Add back to Hartman's Hartman. Okay, we can just go straight across, I'm pretty sure. That one is already tied down. through the snow I wish we could have fabricated a bike or something here but 
Snuggly, go such. Turn around, please. Tur really, Sam. Thank you. Carrier two. Place all that stuff. Carrier one. Whatever. A carrier two. Control. We currently do not need two active carriers. No, 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 no. Darn it. Let's get a move on. Special arrow. Sure. Might as well. Right? Yeah. Did we not bring a ladder? We did, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, apparently you cannot use that ladder in that way. Damn it. Can we grab this one? We can just dismantle it. We only brought one ladder, right? Yep, only one ladder. Darn it. So we're gonna need to find a different drop. Falling down. Quiet. Quiet. Quiet, you little avian baby. Look at 
Look at all the crap that fell down. We're gonna go down there and grab a couple ladders, see if we can make a ladder up there. That is not too steep for our floating carrier. We're almost ruined. At least we have more on the boot clips. That's okay. And fully charged. Very cycle the boots. Where's the boots? Recycle those boots. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Advocate. Two letters, please. Mm. Those. Oh, we don't have any hematic grenades, right? Totally forgot that we needed those. I'm gonna have to climb this bloody mountain again. 
or is it smarter to go around? Doesn't look like it matters much. There's a road going there. Hmm, we could go there. You know, follow the road north a little bit to our first opening there. Okay. Can do it like 17 times faster would be great if you please you there. Bridges wants you. but who the hell are you talking to Sixteen super sixteen sixty TI. That's cool. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mm, there's at least something for Hartman's lap. That's not right. Stop it. Stop tossing stuff down here. Snow comes from hell. Hopefully, there's no BTs. Because we don't have all that many grenades. Ta da! Container damaged. Lost cargo. Ancient bacteria samples. Well, that's too bad for the ancient bacteria samples. Ruined by time fall. Non lethal assault. That sucks. Oh. tossing those bowlers down stop it wherever it is stop it Come on. you can do it
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Tossing the boulders down. Dang it. Let's slide down the mountain, please, so we can get there quick. Yay, the snow is done. There's something for Hartman's lap again. Rolling over. Low roar. Let's pick up those because they're, they're in a close plane anyway. Another hundred CG. Why go away, stupid mosquito? Damn it. truck is almost ruined. of stuff over there. You can see all the tethers into the sky. Fix matchmaking!
Stop tripping over nothing. Come on. Over. Good. There we go. There you go. Drop the memory chip. It's right here. There we go. Mm, that doesn't look like a safe thing. Wait down. There we go. Right, put the face in it. Okay, slide down. And slide down. There we go. The Chiral Network connects people honestly present. There we go. Ah, you're there. We go. We made it. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until the fight. Cargo verified. Thank you. There we go. My poor truck is still here, getting rusty. Hey, okay, idiot stick, here's your delivery. Yeah, I don't care, I don't trust the car. Lightning blue. Cargo address to Porter awaiting collection. What? Oh, it's a crypto bio. Oh, that's funny. Crypto bio accessory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what did... Oh, we have to go into his office again. Okay. Neanderthal skull. Neanderthal skull. Look at the pups. The pup. Papa. What do you mean, Dakota? So cute. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered. Oh, you mean the little crypto bio? Yes, that was just cute. Back. 
I was behind. Uh... When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes, and there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the death stranding. Uh, okay. Insisted that I never tell the director. The court shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean, they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Karelium in their cells. Uh-huh. In other words, the president's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put but... together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions. Great yeah, yeah. Oh, God. We can skip a little part. Including the big five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, our, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? Uh huh. Yes. Our death stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from our five, fifty-three hundred years ago. Yay! They both have the same umbilical cords. <laughs> Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the Iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right. How's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, 
not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Uh -uh. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Mm -hmm. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, bound with strands, which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, EEs are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Hicks said Amelie's an EE, and she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the president is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for E powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. I doubt a single EE is powerful enough to cause a death strand. A single EE. Assuming e. Amelie is an EE. EE. E. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. All right. Okay. Activating lab security measures. Good luck dying again. Five, Stop breaking the fourth wall. Three, two, one. Okay. So Proceed to the shore of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. Uh huh. Once it's ready, use the cupid to bring it online. Uh huh. The necessary material supplies are limited. You'll be carried. All things considered, this Hartman knows more. It's about time. Administering shock. Stand clear. Right. About that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way... Uh, ironically, because we deemed it a little too unsafe, but this... So let's hope, fortunately, all you have to do... Uh -huh, I'm afraid uh -huh, my count... Uh -huh. Yep, yep, yep. Take on order for the bots. Yes, 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 Ma one or more bots have done the lift. That's fine. Authentic coffee making kit. Estimated time 50 minutes, delivery time 45, that's fine. Okay, good luck. That's the little robots deployed. Order for some 150 kilograms.
Hold on to the truck. Let's hope the truck will last long enough. Even though it's smoking and sparking and everything. I don't think it will last. Oh, there's a mule outpost on the way. That's going to be sucky. Or we should, could go to Mount Nut City. Hmm. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Weapons restrictions lifted. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're taking a sparking, smoking, and rusted truck all the way through the mountains. They'll be coming round the mountains when they come. They'll be coming round the mountains when they come. They'll be coming round to mountains, still coming round to mountains, they'll be coming round to mountains when they come. We will be crashing down the mountains where we go. with the umbilical cord and mass extinction. Battery's running out, it's fine. We can place a charging station whenever we want. Uh oh. Either drive forward or backward, but not sideways. Please. Uh, what can't you do? Stop. There we go. Oh, is this the BT territory where we have to pick up the tar stuff? Yep. Old Volcano Observatory. Let's hope there's no BTs here this time. Mm -hmm. There's a new post box right ahead of us. Let's recharge.
Autobots roll out. Kind of half expected there to be a like a memory crystal thing here. Battery charged. Oh, brother. There's mules over there. I'd rather not have them destroy my car. Spare magazine, pick it up. Thank you. Should be fine.
the way there, all the way there. Okay. We have a little bit of room to move forward. Automatic grenades, normal grenades, but they are lethal. Revolver grip grenade launcher loaded with slip grenades. Reason a slickening agent on impact to stop enemies in their tracks. Effective against unity. Tranquilize, knocks humans unconscious. One dude over there. Up the metal, thank you. Sheesh. Okay, there's a ton of stuff in here. We need to get our cart so we can load everything in. There we go. Stop with the weird walking.
we go. That's in the truck. Okay, apparently the truck isn't still isn't full. That's good. Come on. There we go. Do we have in here? Chemicals, we cannot look. Let's see how full we can get it. Is that too full? Can we still drive? We can still drive. Good. Our smoking and sparking car is still full. No, 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 don't drive into the water. Oh. It is literally just follow the river. best if we could follow the river without driving into the bloody river. Almost nothing from silent poets. Mm. Apparently BB is having a good time. Say. Look for the terminal and submit your materials for processing. What materials? Oh, the ones that we are delivering. Never mind, I know what materials. Wait, is the terminal on top? Sam, you need to get those materials processed in order to finish the Cairo relay. There we go. Wakey, wakey. 
Make delivery. Deliver. Okay. Apartment sending likes. Human resuscitation. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Cargo condition. You've been awarded the title of deliverer. You will now be able to keep your balance more easily. That's definitely helpful. Good job, Sam. Now access the terminal and bring the relay online. Uh-huh. That doesn't look ominous at all. Damn it. Look at the time. Almost six and a half hours already. That's the last stretch. New strand established. And with that, we're all linked up. Once you cross the tar belt, the end will be in sight. We're this close to Emily, to America's second chance. Edgenot City awaits. The mm -hmm. staff we're sending will start by building a safe house. Over time, they'll expand their operations and establish a new facility. In doing so, they'll carry on the legacy of the brave souls lost to the tar. All thanks to you, Sam. Now, let's figure out how to get you across this tar belt. Terminal locked. That's locked. Where the hell? is through that to make matters worse i don't believe your pcc is capable of building anything that will get you across there must be a way we can't give up not with what's at stake we'll see if we can't think of something here but considering everything you've been through i wouldn't be surprised if you've already got a few ideas of your own uh-huh find a way across the tarp i absolutely have not a single clue We could try and use one of those floating carriers. Would that work? Like just standing on a floating carrier? Apparently we cannot stand up next. Get it done. Right to carry it. Let's see if it does that. Can we float over the water? You can't. Oh, 
Darn it. Nope. We cannot float over the tar. Well, that's useless. I don't think we have enough battery power to drive over it. Oh, plus the truck just instantly gets stuck. Uh, BT territory. Sam, it might be worth looking through your mail in case there's anything we've missed. A piece of local knowledge, perhaps. The folks who live out that way might have done something. Summoning objects from the other side through the tar. I don't know what that means. This is all just... One day we'll soar through the skies. That's great. What that... that what that... What did that male have to say about summoning stuff through the tar? Assuming it's a two-way street, that also means that matter sent to the world could theoretically return through the tar once more. Some of the more fantastic stories I've heard. If the tar is a gateway from the past it has consumed, and maybe it could be manipulated into regurgitating its old meals. Okay, and how would we do that? By tossing in a grenade or something? Do we even have a grenade? We got hematic grenades. Nothing else. We have the grenade launcher, right? Yep, nothing. For the time of shelter, I'm pretty sure we do not have the materials though.
That's literally it. Do we not have any more metal? No. We need 400 metal. Time fall resistant boost it. Hmm. Okay. 10 minutes have passed. Great. The weather has not cleared. No end to this ring. Well, that's no use. Bugger. Why not? Wait, couldn't we build that giant place? Sometimes sample just won't stop if you're sitting under cover. That's the bridge. Safe. That's the. Hey, you're wrong. Insufficient ground. What do you mean insufficient ground contact? It's literally on the ground. Just have to see what we can do here. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, 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 yes.
huge. That's a lot of BTs all around us. like a way that we can get a boat out of here or something. and cause a route across the tar to appear. Wait, what? Huh? Why well, wouldn't we do that? Yeah, we can build a bridge or we can build a road, but that's about it. Can't paddle on that thing. I literally have no idea what to do. Because that message from like cause a bridge to appear that makes no sense.
how are we supposed to cause something to appear? I must be missing something, but I'm gonna go to the Timefall Shelter and we're gonna save there because I'm not gonna figure that out today. Like, at all. No chance. Not a chance that we are going to figure that out on today. Do you make a safe game, please? Rain's not right now. Screw this. We can save there, so that's good. That's it. We can just catch our breath, and that's it. Up and out. Ten minutes have passed. Nothing happened. Yeah, I don't. I really do not know how to cause something to appear, unless we mean like building a chiral thing with the bridge like we did with the other stuff I mean we've built roads before I'm gonna check that one quickly and if that's not it we're not gonna do anything oh still locked yep still locked your head up. Thank you. That's as good a place as I need to end it for today. I have no idea how we are going to figure this out and how are we going to continue for now. That'll be it. I really do not know how we can try and cause a root to appear. I, I literally have no clue. So, I'm gonna sleep on it, figure it out next time. For now, I'm gonna say thank you all very, very, very much for watching. I hope everybody had as much fun as I did while playing. We will be back tomorrow with Fallout 76 and hopefully continue there. Get some more score going and all that stuff. And if not, we'll see what happens. For now, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have fun with whatever you're doing. Have a fantastic day or night. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye. Bye, everyone. Kaboom.